Hi, I'm George. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create or find a hot product, product or service, all right? And the best part is that you will learn how to make millions selling it. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go straight into it. Number one, choose an industry or sector that you will enjoy, genuinely want to help in or wouldn't mind working in. The mistake some persons do is they choose an industry that they will not enjoy just because someone said the industry is working or they choose an industry that they don't like to work with but they have no option in quotes because they found or heard Mr. A did it and he's making money from it. So you must choose an industry that you will enjoy and you generally want to work with, all right? And here's the thing about choosing an industry, okay? It's wanting to choose an industry. It's another thing to choose an industry that is evergreen, an industry that will always be around no matter what. Now, it's very important. It's wanting to choose an industry. You can choose an industry. Let's say, for instance, now you choose an industry of typists, people who want to um, make more money or people who want to, uh, let's say, learn how to use typewriter at the more. Now, you realize that if you choose such kind of industry, after... At the moment when typewriters, when typists went off the market, what happens? You're off the market as well. But that's why it's always good to choose an industry that is evergreen, which means an industry that um, is to an extent tied to the necessity, the five necessity of man. All right? The, okay, let me tell you an example now. We have, uh, let's say, food um food shelter clothing money health all these kind of things all right so the second after you've chosen an industry and you've made sure that your industry fits into this now call on contact up to 100 people in that industry and ask them what their biggest problems are the, now everyone just jumps in picking an industry but they don't find ask themselves what are the challenges people in this industry are facing? Here's what you should know. Every single kind of thing you want to do right now, there are 1,001 people who have already done that before you. The smart, wise people look for those before them, learn what they did, what they didn't do well, and what find a way to make it work in their own time. That's it. All right? And... Um, Here's the thing, if you choose the aspect of trying to call, um, contact 100 persons, you can do so over phone, phone calls, get their contact using Google, or you can get their emails, and you can code email them. So if you want to code email them, you go to Google, look up a Chrome extension, it's called Hunter, just go to group, um, Chrome, search an extension aspect, click on Hunter. It's a little orange fox icon. Now, when you do so, install it in your chrome browser then plug in just visit any company's website you can think about that is in line with your industry click on that hunter icon and it will find all available domains or emails associated with that domain after which you can sift through it and send or blast emails to the contacts you've already got all right number three i will drop a descript the link to the description box okay that you can directly use to assess the extension. Number three, identify and pick a thirsty, hungry, and starving audience with a specific problem. Now, it's one thing to pick an industry, it's another thing to pick an evergreen industry, it's another thing to contact them, but now make sure that the audience within that industry are thirsty, hungry, and starving, which means it's a hot industry. It's a hot on, um, audience. And you should make sure that you are solving a specific problem within that industry. Make sure that now, while you're solving a specific problem within the industry, make sure those audience have money to spend. Because there is nothing worse than trying to sell something to people who can aff can't afford it. Imagine, for instance, now selling something that is well amazing, well worth it. Let's say about $500 now to someone who is making less than $50 a month or $50 a day and the rest. 
No matter how much you convince the person to buy, no matter how convincing, how re, uh, productive, result-oriented your offer is, they won't buy. Not because they don't like it, they can't afford it. So that's why it's nothing worse than trying to sell sums to people who can't afford it. They choose a market that is always growing, as I said earlier, evergreen. Meaning, even when people die, more are being born who will need it eventually. That's it. Which means it's a constant cycle. It's a constant... Uh, don't worry, then the, one of the videos I'm going to do later on, I'll talk about five hot niches that people can actually leverage on that are always evergreen. I'll talk about it later. All right? So, but this is what you know. Make sure that the market you're choosing is always growing. If not, you'll reach a point whereby you'll fizzle out with the market. Number four, start building a highly responsive, rapid, highly targeted buyers list of people in that target market looking to solve that specific problem. All right? Um, how do you do, do such? You create and set up an effective system of getting this audience into your fold so that they can relate with so that you can relate with them on a personal level because as you understand um list list is gold all right having a list you can control list you can talk talk to list you can share some ideas or some things with or tell them about what you're working on all these things are important that's why you should create an effective system of getting this audience there are different systems you can use um you can use facebook you can use linkedin you can use um you can use facebook linkedin medium um which other platform again because the focus is that you can be sharing content with them on youtube you can use instagram yes you can use twitter yes and the focus of this is that these platforms you're leveraging on these platforms to build rapport with your list to build a solid business and sales relationship based on the klt principle now klt is all about no like and uh this thing, trust so check in the description box okay i did a little video explaining how powerful this is and how you can actually leverage the klt to making sure that what a lot of people that come in contact with you convert or buy from you all right so now as i said earlier create and set up an effective system of getting this audience into your fold so that you can relate with them on a personal level now the fifth is what create a hook create a hook them by the neck unrefusable highly irresistible offer it can never be over exaggerated it can never be uh, uh, let's say one cannot stop saying it because Creating an irresistible offer is important. Take for instance, um, okay, there's this perfect example, okay? You have 100 cows around you and someone is telling you, come and buy my cow, come and buy my cow, come and buy my cow. No matter how much the person spends time and effort to convince you to buy that cow, you won't buy because at first, the person didn't create an offer that's irresistible one. Second, the person didn't create an offer that got your attention. But now it's take a, take a moment. And that person comes and paints his cow black with white. Let's say white cow painted black around it, made it to have like a zebra style kind of painting. And he tells you, come and buy my cow. Even when you're walking, just because of the painting alone, you'll be attracted to know, is this a zebra or is this a cow? Why is this cow white? Why is this cow black? Why is this cow standing this way? Why is this cow this way? Are you sure this is not easy? Now, during those moments of asking yourself those questions, the person has caught your attention, and next thing you are listening to what the person is saying. So that's what creates an irresistible offer. It's something that draws their attention towards you to now put their mind towards what you're trying to tell them. All right. So now it has it's just um what you should know about this offer is that you should present exactly what your list wants, which means the fact that I got you got my attention, possibly I will I had intention to come and buy a cow. That's the thing, all right. So that's why you should present exactly what they want, because if you don't present what they actually want to buy, you will spend so much money and effort 
convincing them to get what they don't want and at the end they will not purchase it they'll look at you as someone who is um what is that word pushy yeah as someone who is pushy so if you like this video make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel right now just click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can get more amazing videos and these videos can also spread out to a lot of people out there who also need it all right and also if you want exclusive income hacks and secrets of wealthy leaders that i only share with subscribers head over to clientandsales.com and download the income guide it's free don't forget the world is your grand stage so what take action i celebrate you